Shut down and unplug the power cord. Loosen the adjustment screw to release the belt tension. Pull the belt out a bit. And then tighten the screw. Remove the x-axis motor cover. Disconnect the wiring. Unscrew the two screws, securing the x-axis motor cover. Gently push the cover to the right, remove the cover, and remove the screws. Remove the x-axis motor assembly. Remove the purge wiper. Remove the right end cover of the x-axis. Remove the casings. Remove the hot end assembly. Unscrew six screws, one on each side and four at the bottom. Take off the belt pressure plate. Extract the old x-axis belt. Replaced with a new x-axis belt. With the tooth surface facing upward, thread the belt through the motor assembly. Then feed it into the aluminum profile. Pull out both ends of the belt. Place lint-free cloth or tissue underneath to prevent scratches. Thread the belt through the lower belt pressure plate. Note, pay attention to the orientation of the lower belt pressure plate.
Install the upper belt pressure plate. Note, each positioning slot must align with the belt teeth. Leave the teeth of the belt uncovered on the left side and align the right side flush with the pressure plate. Tighten the screws. Install the hot end assembly. Install the outer casing. Install the right end cover of the x-axis. Install the purge wiper. Reinstall the x-axis motor assembly. Note, place the belt into the timing pulley. Tighten the screws. Install the X motor cover. Align the clip at the bottom with its slot and snap into place as needed. Plug in four wires.
Install the cover plate. Loosen the adjustment screw to check if the hoten slides smoothly, then retighten the screw. Self-check. Plug in the power cord and turn it on. Click Settings. Self-check. Input Shaping. Auto Leveling. Start Detection. Wait for the machine self-check to complete. Enter the Wiki official website to find more information.